Living in a dorm can mean a lot of different things. For our Jeffrey Weizenbaugh, living in a dorm means, well, I'm going to let him tell you what it means. As a freshman, first moving here to a Big Ten school, away from friends and family into a whole new environment was very nerve-wracking. It was my first time living in, away from home and away from the whole parental supervision. In Animal House, you know, you, you expect college life to be a lot rowdier than it is, but it's not really like that, I guess. And I really had no idea what it would be like living in a dorm or what it would be like living out on my own, other than from what I've seen from TV and movies. This is nowhere near as big as they show in the movies. I do admit, living at home, a lot of things were done for me, and my parents helped me with a lot. I'd live, be living on my own for my first time, and I'm sure it'll be a lot, you know, a little bit, a lot different than at home. You know, a lot more freedom. This being my first time living away from home and being at college, living in the dorms here at Michigan State, I knew right off the bat I would have to start doing stuff on my own. It's a lot different. I mean, you don't have your mom waking you up. I would have to get up for class each morning. I would have to clean. I'd have to be on tasks throughout the day, all by myself. Getting up for class can be tough. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I slept through quite a few classes this semester. I have like serious issues getting up for class, like serious problems. It doesn't sound like a lot, but to be honest, it took a while to get used to everything. And I didn't just quit cold turkey. I had to slowly be weaned off having my parents be around all the time. Hello? Jeffrey, Jeffrey, it's time to wake up. You've got an 8.30 class this morning. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. I'm up. Have a wonderful day! Yeah, okay. Being away from parents and family was not the only thing I had to get used to. A big thing was living with other people. I took the leap and went in blind for roommates and was room with three guys I've never met before. I didn't know if we were all going to get along and I didn't really know what to expect. It was really fun actually because like there was always people to hang out with when you came back to the room. No real issues. I mean, you got to, you just really get to know the people that you're living with a lot more. I was definitely nervous about how personalities might mesh or how we all might get along. And also what issues might come up that I would have to deal with living with three other guys in a small area for a whole year. One of the issues that came up was cleaning. Cleaning up, you know, when you're living with three other guys, it can get a little messy. Once once a couple once a few every couple weeks we would do a massive cleanup day though to keep it all keep it all straight. In general, I'm more of a neat freak when it comes to where things are and if things are clean in a given area. My roommates, on the other hand, didn't really share the same concept or opinion of what's clean and what's not. Oh, come on. I've been sleeping for 30 minutes. How do you ever throw your stuff away? Futon's not a landfill. <sighs> Although there might have been some issues that came up, we were all able to talk about them and work things out. And there's been some issues. Um, she wakes up at multiple times during the night and will scream at the top of her lungs. We all understood that we share this living space as roommates and we need to respect it. Things might have gotten a little ridiculous at times, but as MSU students, we knew we were all here to learn and things turned out fine. Well, we kind of just, I don't know, went about our business and, you know, if something needed to be said, something needed to be said, you know, that's just the kind of way it was. The MSU dorms offered a lot of fun times to bond with people and really adds to the whole college experience overall. And I'm personally really glad I chose to stay on campus and really get to take in what Michigan State has to offer. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. It's a hard knock life.